So what is the best diet in order for you to lose fat fast? Well, there's a couple of different methods that I'm gonna be bringing you through that has helped me personally and as well as that all my successful clients. But the first thing we need to focus on is the most important thing is calories in, calories out. If we do not know the calories that we are consuming on a daily basis, there is not a chance on earth that you are gonna lose fat. And then as well as that, we need to know calories out, meaning the expenditure that we do on a daily basis, whether that may be walking on a treadmill, doing 10,000 steps a day, or doing some resistance training. Now this can be tracked easily, but what I want you to do is go over to caloriecalculator.net. This is my go-to website for helping you find your metabolic rate. Now, of course, this is all gonna depend when you have the majority of your cravings throughout the day. Me, personally, it's 100% at the night. When it comes to 7, 8 p.m., I just wanna eat everything in my fridge, and I have tried this one method to help me get around it, and it's called the front heavy diet. Basically, what this is, is when we consume the majority of our calories in the first half of the day. So when you get towards that nighttime and you've consumed the majority of your calories with the right foods, which I'll bring you through today, you will feel full. Therefore, you won't feel the need to snack or go towards that takeout that you do quite often. Most importantly, I would definitely recommend filling your foods up with the right things throughout the day with less processed foods such as oats instead of more high processed food, which are cereal. And I can assure you that you're gonna feel a big burst of energy after eating something less processed like I'm gonna show you today. So in order for me to accurately show you the direct meal program you should be following, we're gonna use the basic metabolic rate of a male. Now, of course, your metabolic rate will depend on what type of activity job you do, whether it's seated, whether it's moving around, what type of exercise you do, is it resistant? Distance training, is it CrossFit? We do not know that. So that's why it's so important for you to go and find your own calories on that website. So today we're gonna go with 1800 calories for a 197 pound male. So the thing I like to utilize within this diet program is actually fasting in between each and every meal. And having meal timings is probably the most important thing you can do with this tip is because it's gonna build your body into a routine. If we just eat whenever we feel hungry, we'll find ourselves at the fridge every two hours. So this is gonna be your breakfast. First of all, let's just get some oats and we're gonna go for 100 grams. As well as that, we get some low fat milk. We're gonna use 250 mils. Then we're gonna get a whey protein. Now my go-to is definitely ghost and the flavoring is milk chocolate. You can use the link in description and use code Troy for 20% off. You're gonna use 60 grams of whey. Then we're gonna put it in the microwave for roughly 30 to 60 seconds. Now I want you to keep an eye on this because we don't want it to get too dry. Then we get this creamy consistency. We can take it out and we can start adding in our dark chocolate. We're gonna go with 40 grams here. We're gonna go for 25 grams of strawberries and 25 grams of blueberries. Now this meal in total is only 955 calories. It is 67 grams of protein, 29 grams of fats, and 104 grams of carbs. Now this is an ideal meal to have straight before you work out because we've got that carb source, we've got a healthy carb source as well. And what this is, it isn't processed, so we're gonna be able to get that burst of energy. We're also gonna help feel full with the high protein in this diet. And most importantly, it's not actually that high in calories for what you get out of it. Now what we will expect after eating this recipe, we can be quite bloated the first time eating it because you have just consumed 50% and over 50% of your diet in the first portion of the day. Now what you will feel is that you're not even hungry anymore. You know, you're gonna be able to wait four hours quite easily. And then we're gonna go for a lower portion size with our next meal. Now for lunch, which is 2 p.m., we're gonna go for 200 grams of chicken and we're also gonna go for 150 white rice. Now just to spice this diet up a tiny bit, I actually additionally added in a brown bread wrap. Now the idea behind this is to create some balance in my diet because I don't want to consistently feel like I'm eating chicken and rice. So the brown bread wrap really done the job of this one. Now, you have completed your two meals, it's 6 p.m., you're ready for dinner, and I guarantee you, you are not feeling the cravings that you normally would on any other day. This is telling me that the front-heavy diet is already working. So this last meal is gonna put you out for the count. Most importantly, you didn't go over your calories, you consumed great protein levels, and you are 100% losing fat with this diet. So we're gonna simply go for 100 grams of low-fat mince. We're also gonna get 100 grams of cooked white rice. And I like to sprinkle a bit of Himalayan salt because this makes this meal absolutely delicious. Now you can add some mixed veg in here as well to fill you up even more. But me personally, I don't really like vegetables. This meal in total is 294 calories, 24 grams of protein, 28 grams of carbs and only 10 grams of fats. Now this entire daily total is only 1,774 calories, 157 grams of protein, so you've hit your protein targets, 174 grams of carbs and 10 grams of fat. So as you can see with this daily total, you can 100% see yourself feeling full with this, especially consuming the majority of your calories at the front part of your day 
To be exact, 55% of your calories are consumed for breakfast. And then we eased ourselves out of it with a 30% approach to lunch. And then we lowered it even more because your hunger levels are starting to go down is 15% for your dinner. And if this video did help you out whatsoever, I wish you the best in your fat loss journey. And I definitely recommend watching this video here and also dropping the page to subscribe. We are gonna be helping you throughout your journey for the entire time. See you all in the next one.